Can you test bulbs with digital meters? Let's find out. We'll first test a filament bulb, then an LED bulb and lamp, and finally CFL bulbs. It is easy to test old school filament bulbs. The resistance of a good bulb is about 100 ohms when cold. A bad bulb will show OL, which means open load. It is an open circuit, as there is no continuity. Let us now check an LED bulb. The meter shows no continuity. But is this bulb bad? It is a good bulb. Now let's try to test an LED panel lamp instead of bulb. Like the LED bulb, this LED panel is open circuited. Is it good or bad? It is a good lamp. That means, you cannot know from the meter, whether the bulb is normal, or if there is internal break. Both will result in open load reading on the meter. To understand better, let us study a generic LED lamp circuit. Typically, we power the lamp with 110 or 230 volts AC. The high voltage is converted to an appropriate DC level, and sent to a series of LED chips. However, when a digital meter is connected, it sends just 9 volts, through the complex circuit. The resulting voltage across the, the LED diodes, is insufficient to forward bias them, to conduct. So that's why digital meter sees an open circuit, even when connected to good LED lamp. Next we will test two CFL bulbs. This CFL bulb has a resistance of around 10 megaohms in either direction. So is this a good bulb? It is certainly a bad bulb. Shall we try another CFL? This one is completely open circuit. But it works. CFL lamp has an electronic high voltage, start a circuit, to enable the fluorescent, and gas, in the tube. The small voltage from the meter cannot support any current through the lamp. And that's why a good or bad lamp will measure as open circuit on the meter. So now you know why digital meter cannot be used to test CFL or LED lights. 